there's been Christians and Muslims are like, oh, come to Jesus, oh, come to Allah, like, take a step back, please, before you start questioning me. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's back with another Mumsil video. How y'all doing? Welcome back, everybody, to another Mumsil video, for real now. I want to talk about something which is, again, very important to me. It's happened twice, two occurrence. So basically, I'm going to be talking a lot about religion in this video. And a disclaimer right here, this video is not to bash any religion or any kind. This video is simply for me to debunk um, re the, the way religion is portrayed in the media, but also the way it's portrayed by its followers and how it's actually portrayed right now than what it should be. Um, and I'm not talking obviously for everyone, I'm talking for myself and how I portray the world and how i portray people as as a whole and a lot of people seem to think that religion is a social thing it's something which oh if you're a muslim then oh i'm a muslim as well or i'm a christian oh you're a christian as well oh we're, we think alike so we can hang out together we don't need to worry about that we have different morals and for that i kind of understand i understand that religion for me is very a personal kind of space thing because it's sadly religion has become a thing where we don't value it the same way as we used to what i mean by that is religion the point of religion in in the end is basically that you have a good afterlife because that's usually what all the goals are about because usually if you're not religious you don't believe in an afterlife because that's usually what religion tells you so really religion is just about you having a good afterlife basically which then says to me why do we care so much about what other people believe in when in the end it's really just about ourselves a lot of people sadly think today that religion is something which is social but it's something which you can identify so that you can of your cult basically because it's like a lot of people who i know who are religious they see it as you believe in the same thing as me so obviously we must believe the same so therefore we have the same morals therefore we think the same so we're more likely to get along which is true a hundred percent but Obviously, you're not going to think the same about everything because life doesn't work like that. To me, I think it's something which it's something kind of personal because we're talking about belief. We're not talking about the social status about religion. I'm talking about belief, like what you believe inside, because at the end of the day, that's something which if you believe in God, it's up between you two. It's not between your parents. It's not between your friend. So therefore, someone standing in between those us two is irrelevant because at the end of the day it's only between us two so for you to say anything the only thing you can really do is advise me but you can't really like question me try to make me justify what i'm doing because at the end of the day it's just between me and if i believe in god or not it's or whatever you get what i'm saying what i'm trying so therefore when people see it as a social thing oh we have like Oh my god, yeah, you believe in the same? Yeah, that's cool. Why do you not do this? Oh, why did you take off your hijab? Oh, why do you not believe in God? Oh, why are you drinking alcohol? Why, why are you eating pork? Like, at the end of the day, it's not between you. Like, you can ask them, like... And to me, I just think that the reason I don't like being asked about religion is because not only am I slightly unsure, but I'm also in a phase where I simply don't want to have to justify what I believe in because I don't have to justify it. And this video is obviously not about what I believe in because I really, really would respect it if you guys would keep it. Let me keep that as my privacy because it's not really anyone's business besides my own. And if there's anyone who I'm going to be talking about it, it's going to be someone in my family because they are more likely to understand than someone who I don't even know. And the problem with that religion has become such a social thing is that religion makes it a social construct. So therefore, you're not really believing in the religion because you believe in it. You're believing it because if you don't believe it, your peers around you aren't really going to approve you the same way as they used to. And that's really, really destructive and toxic. Because in actuality, not only are you brainwashed technically, but you're also going against your own religion because I'm pretty sure the majority of religions believe 
that you should never be following a religion because someone else told you to. You should be following it because you believe in it. So therefore, you believing in a religion because someone else wants you to, that's not, you're not actually believing in it. Like, it doesn't make sense, um, which I understand because why should you believe in something for someone else's sake? You should be believing it for your sake because religion is something which only has to do with you because that's what it has to do with in the end. And the thing which I really, really dislike is when people have this big ego to literally convert every single person to what they believe in and they feel like they have such a high level that everybody has to think exactly the way they have to. And usually the majority of the times they, they you ask them, why do you care so much? Either it's because, oh, I was just asking in a sarcastic way or two, oh, I just want to get good deeds. But like literally you can get better deeds than trying to convert people. And not only that, majority of the time people who try to convert people, at least from what I've seen, is you're saying in a toxic way like, oh my god, how dare you not be like a Muslim or how dare you not be a Christian. Like there's literally people who have been questioning my religion. There's been Christians and Muslims are like, oh, come to Jesus. Oh, come to Allah. Like take a step back, please, before you start questioning me. And there's obviously a good way of spreading a message of your religion. And there's a bad way. But... If someone doesn't want to talk about religion, they don't have to. Because in the end of the day, it's something which affects themselves. It's not harming anyone else by believing in something. Unless you're believing in something which affects others. And that's actually one of the issues which a lot of people have a problem with religion. Because a lot of the religious scripts sadly promotes... Well, not promotes, but is very easily translated into violence and hate speech. I'm not gonna sit and lie to you, but a lot of religions promote homophobia and some do it indirectly while others are very blatant about it. And to me, it's like, it's very sad because I'm here, I'm queer, <laughs> joke, sign. <laughs> I can quick a joke. No, but like I'm here and I'm not, for me, it's very hard to sympathize with people when you believe in something which is very terrifying to a huge amount of people so therefore i can't really sympathize with people in that aspect although i understand that there are good religious people no doubt about it but sadly the the majority are just not the type and i just think that when you're talking about some ask like just like asking someone like oh why do you believe in this why have you stopped believing in this oh why are you not justifying what you're doing that makes the conversation very 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 awkward because you're trying to basically take an inner part of myself and you're trying to make me reveal it for you when i don't have to do that like i feel like it's not yours to tell like it's literally not yours to be taken from me so therefore you have no privilege to take my inner self for your satisfaction because no that's something which is about me not about you you need to seriously get a life if you care so much about what I believe in. And that's really the truth. That's really the tea right here. And I and I said this earlier, but I'm more likely to sympathize, or well, I'm more likely to understand my family than anyone. So anyone outside my family, I'm most likely not going to take you seriously. Not because you're not a good person, but because you most likely don't sympathize with me at the same level as my parents or my siblings do because they have a different... They understand me better than anyone else will. So therefore, you who do doesn't know me on the same extent, there's really no point in trying to like argue or debate me on this because at the end of the day, I'm not going to want to argue with someone who doesn't sympathize with me because then it becomes a very one-sided debate where it's like, oh, you have to believe in what I believe or you're a bad person. And then it becomes more like an ego boost. So I'm not really going to take that conversation with egotistical idiots so a little tea for you and the real i'm not scared of discussing religion it's just i don't feel it's necessary because it's not it's still a personal thing and i've said this so many times so but I, I know that someone's not going to catch on to that and because i feel like people shouldn't be poking their nose into things which don't even affect them literally and the thing which i believe in is I believe that you should judge someone on their character and not their religion. When I when I'm sim when I'm talking about character, I mean like how they are, what the, what like what are what are what are their goals, what do they want to achieve. 
them like being in this world what what how are they as a person like basically elements of them which make them them like obviously religion can make you can build you as a person but it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't absolutely not so what i mean is i mean elements of the good elements of people what builds them now obviously a lot a lot of people have bad elements and good elements but religion isn't something which has to be a good you can still be a good person even if you're not religious obviously so therefore i would rather judge someone by their character and not what they believe in so obviously if i meet a muslim or i meet a, a jew or i meet a christian i'm not gonna say oh i don't like muslims oh i don't like christians because they're this and this and that no i'm gonna be like what are they for type of a person how do they like act how do they portray me how do they you know come come how do they talk to me because i that's what i'm more interested in. i'm not interested in what you believe in because that's something which is between you and whatever you believe in so end of the story i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm gonna do what makes me happy i'm gonna do something which i'm gonna actually be happy and something which i'm gonna be satisfied with what i do and it's not really anyone's business besides my own and possibly maybe my parents as well but at the end of the day it's still between me because I'm not, I'm gonna be dying because everyone dies and they're a separate grave. You don't die together, at least not what I know of. So I think it's very, very un, un I, th I find it very un, I find it very unnecessary to have a religious debate with me because it's not really your business to begin with. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a nice day. And make sure to be always nice to each other because not even joking people literally are so self-entitled i get screamed on i always hear people saying in their religious words like negative things and i find it really disgusting so please don't do that if you see me on the street and you're trying to be funny and trying to be rude and they say at the same time trying to promote your religion it's not really working so make sure to pick your words right because you don't know how it affects some people. And with that being said, I'm not going to draw this video way too long because it's already been long enough. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other thoughts, make sure to leave them down below. Um, if you want a part two or something, because there are still a few things I could be talking about. I really got this video um, idea from Dina, if you know who she is, Dina Tokyo. She talked about how she left, she took off her scarf and stuff. So it really inspired me to like talk about this, not because... Of religion but well not because of being a muslim but i was talking more about religion in itself because that's why i was more interested in how it how it really affects a person and a community because it really does do it negatively the way it's been for the past for the past times i would say because it's not really religion has really been going downfall as you guys have known like more people are atheists than ever and i'm not saying that's a bad thing but it kind of reflects on how religion is going how a lot of non-religious people are getting afraid of religion because of the way people act and i'm not really surprised because the way people act in religion is very toxic nowadays and i don't condone it in one bit and with that being said i'll end this video have a nice day everyone and take care of each other peace